On day one, I spawned into the world of One Piece with one goal in mind, become the Pirate King. Now that wouldn't be easy. This was a One Piece server with custom islands, devil fruits, bosses, and this guy. Well, you probably didn't come for this guy. <laughs> Our journey starts on the tiny island called Fusha Town. And as everyone's rushing to explore the place, I, on the other hand, um, <laughs> this is your future Pirate King, by the way. The first thing I'm going to need to survive is some better equipment. Because each island on this server has a boss you have to defeat before you can sail onto the next island. And after taking down a few pirates, I decided to be the first player to ever challenge the boss of Fusha Town. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, he did so many hearts. Okay, it was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> this guy's name is Higuma. I'm hoping I said that right. And he was between me and the second island. I spent the remainder of the first day exploring, fighting bandits, and talking to NPCs in the town. If I'm gonna survive 100 days here, I'm going to need a crew. Hey, you wanna be friends? Come on. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. The second day started with me opening my own island. And I had plans to make this island epic. But for now, this will work. <laughs> it's just so lonely here. I don't think I'll ever find a crewmate, honestly. I'm just not great at connecting with people. To get revenge on Mr. Higuma, I had to complete some quests, such as killing pirates, farming, fishing, blah blah blah, you get it. And on the seventh day, while mining, I noticed something a bit odd. <laughs> is he stuck? That's right. Not sure how he got there, but all I know is that whoever's on his crew is screwed. I mean, how do you even manage to do that? I want this guy to be on my crew. I'm probably making the worst decision. Let me message him. I honestly was gonna leave because everyone I've asked to join my crew has given me weird looks. Until he replied. He said, sure. Yay. <laughs> I finally found my first crew. Roommate. Hooray! Day 8. Me and Rai were having a blast. Killing pirates, mining, stealing from the poor, everything a good crew does together. And that's until... Rai, where did you go? Oh no, look, I'm look looking for him. Yep, I already lost him. That's so sad. I don't know if I'll ever see him again. I needed a plan. Safe to say, Higuma equals strong. So after getting kitted out in bandit gear, which is somehow better than diamond armor, I went for revenge. The strategy was to block his attack, get a hit in, and run away like a coward. And doing that enough times brought me to the second stage. The situation was getting dire. I wasn't even saying a word. But after killing his henchmen, my struggles paid off. Come on! Yes! <laughs> I did it! Let's go! With Fusha Island complete, I got ready to sail my way towards the second island. And at the port getting ready to depart, I was stopped by some strange man. Oh my god, he challenged me to a duel. Maybe if I beat him in a duel, he'll join my crew. This duel was super important. My entire manlyhood depended on this duel right here. I killed him! I won. You have to join my crew. I'm waiting here till he comes back. He never came back. Orange Town, the second island. Bigger than Fusha Town, cooler too, but even had a little buggy. Look, it's a little buggy. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Okay, have a good day. Be safe, okay? Orange Town's boss was buggy, and the only way to defeat this guy was with a devil fruit. And luckily, I had the chance to get one. Oh, wait, I get my first devil fruit. I just have to find a mini boss on this island. Oh, there's a mini boss. Oh, hurry, hurry, before anyone else comes. Hopefully, I can take him out. Oh, that hurt. No, don't punch me. I did it! I got my first Devil Fruit. Devil Fruits were unique on this server. Instead of just finding them out and about, they were placed into rarities that you could roll for. Let's see what I get. I got the Luck Fruit. And without knowing too much about it, I ate it. Let's do it! This was the first fruit of many in my adventure. And knowing that the possibilities were endless, excited. Not like that. Come on, guys. The Luck Fruit granted me higher chances of everything percentage-based, which turned out to be super helpful as I progressed. Whoa, what Devil Fruit does this guy have? Your fruit is cool. Here's the Kilo Kilo no Mi. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Before I could fight Buggy, I had to complete some bandit quests, which didn't take long compared to harvest 448 potatoes? Who needs that many potatoes? What the heck? Do what you? Do? No, you don't. I'm gonna fight the Buggy boss. I think I'm ready. Buggy was the first boss with his very own devil fruit. Oh my god. Oh, the fragmentation fruit. Oh, he's going. I was not prepared. Fishing rod. He's gonna kill me. Bro, he's actually broken. He doesn't miss. How did he hit me through the wall? Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm just running in circles right now. Oh, he hit me. Oh, no, no. Okay, I have to go. I have to try. I do, like, no damage. I was not ready. I wasn't. Uh, I realized that this was not gonna cut it. Using my saved up gold, I sniped a cheap buggy knife on the auction house for 20,000, which at the time sold for, like, 50 to 100,000. So that's profit to me. Let's go. <laughs> so my idea is level 10 job gives me a random devil fruit. So I'm 
hoping. Look, what I'm trying to say is that the luck fruit isn't gonna cut it anymore. I needed a devil fruit that would help me in battle. I did it. I could get a new devil fruit. Come on, please, something good. Ah, the common. I eat the teleportation fruit only to find out. Let's try it out. I don't have enough power. Yeah, so this fruit was kind of useless. I just wasn't strong enough to use it. <laughs> oh, I got a new pet. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, Chopper. How you doing? Okay, you're gonna be my crewmate for now. While we look for Rai, me and you. Completing more quests on Orange Town. All that was left was the fight buggy. Second attempt at buggy. Ow! Oh, my fault. Yep. I'm so done! One more time. 24 hours later, I picked up the boom fruit from the auction house and gave it another try. Oh my god, I'm scared. Shoot, his enemies are out. Luckily, the boom fruit was really good at handling groups of enemies. And after many days of failed attempts, yes, I did it. Oh my god. What time is it? I've been here for five hours. Holy shit. With Buggy down, I had a few more quests to complete before I could move on to the third island. And let's just say I underestimated these. Hello, Chopper. I was losing my mind. But the next day, I logged on and I met the requirements to head to the third scene. Finally! I finally found the place. Whoa, it's so cool. It's like an exact replica of the show. The third island was different from the others. Instead of the usual bandit beating quests, I had to fish and cook meals for the people of... Barati. That was me trying to pronounce this place. Look, they have toilets. Oh, why is that one blocked out? Did someone leave a big... Oh, that was joking, but there actually is. <laughs> Don't forget this toilet. For some odd reason, it's important later on. Otherwise, the fishing wasn't anything crazy. I cooked up some fire meals, though. Listen to what this guy had to say about the food. For the next few days, I took a break from the quest of Barati and participated in the server's Christmas event, which took place on Drum Island. Oh, look at all this. Look, it's Chopper. Hello. Looks so cute. There were a hundred gifts spread around Drum Island. And after collecting around 40 of them, Chopper looked really tired and I stopped. Okay, little Chopper, we'll stop for now. I'm only gonna go for 40 since I don't have any fruits that can fly around. And walking around this huge island is kind of tiresome. I think Chopper agrees. He looks so tired. Before leaving Drum Island, I spun the box a few times and took this fire picture with Chopper. I went back to base and before getting back to work, I want to make something special for Rai. So I wrapped up the kilo fruit and put it in a present and left it next to the throne that I made specifically for Rai and a bunch of carp fish because I know he likes carp fish. You guys wouldn't understand. Me and him are like really good friends. Heading back to Barati, I was fulfilling the quest so that I could challenge the boss of this island. And that's when something strange happened. Oh my God. I found someone stuck in the poop toilet. How do you even do that? For real this time, your crewmates are gonna have a terrible time. This might be my new crewmate. Join my my crew. This is how I get crewmates. Hello? I just find them how stuck. He said, why should I? Now this was a curveball. No one's ever asked me why. I had to come up with something and fast. There's so many reasons why you should. Don't Damn. question that. I am the main character. Yeah, you, you totally look like the main character. You're in a toilet full of poop. Is that really what main characters do? He said yes. Well, he said, I guess. K. Okay. A new crewmate. Not sure if he's a quality crewmate, but what does it matter? Welcome to the crew, Rem. Yay. I told him about Rai and how we're looking for him. He misunderstood me at first, but it's it's fine, guys. Don't worry. Look at us go. We're like the pirate crew. Then, all of a sudden, the worst possible situation happened. I got into contact with Rai. I can't say how. I can't even show the messages. But here's what happened. Hey, do you want to play on the Mind Peace server? Yeah, why? I met you on launch day. We must crew. It's important. When do you think you'll be on next? He blocked me. Guys, this this can't be happening, right? It's not real. This isn't this isn't actually happening. We'll miss you, Rai. I hope you come back because I, I don't want to believe that you left and blocked me. I'm so sad. He's probably busy. Yeah, it's just he's probably busy. So he didn't want me to distract him. Yeah, you know. And on the next few days, while preparing to fight the final boss of Barati, I had a few visitors on my island. We had Marcus, a random pirate, and Evo, a YouTuber. And Evo wanted to join my crew. So I told him to duel Marcus. If Evo wins, he can join my crew. Oh. Marcus opens with a ton ton fruit, gets two hits and goes around. Oh, Evo's getting overwhelmed. Oh, he died. Sorry, Evo. Maybe next time, you know, hit me up next time. The random guy then gave me a few gifts and we parted ways. By parted, I mean he drowned. That's kind of awkward. It was time for the sea monster. Oh, he's here. Oh, he hurts. I hit him once. I did so much damage. Okay, I'm gonna use my chain fruit. He attacks really quickly. Countless blocks, one after the other. It was a battle of endurance. One broke. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh 
my god. Oh my god. I don't think there's been an Okay, let me catch my breath. I don't think I've done a harder boss fight in my life. Holy shit. With nine HP left and one shield remaining, that fight could have won either way. Finishing up the quest up Aradi Island, I can finally say the line. On to the final island, Alabasta, where pirate kings are made. This is actually the arc I'm on in the anime. Wasting no time, I showed the civilians there what my devil fruit was capable of. Let's explore this island a little bit. Holy, look at this thing. I have to win eight duels on this island to progress. Jeez, they're really making sure I'm worthy for the Pirate King title. Of course, to be the Pirate King, I had to prove to the server that I was the strongest. So I had a plan. I would duel people naked. Not like that, but you know what I mean. And as the duel counts down to start, I'll put on all my gear, hopefully securing a free win. I'm a terrible person, I know. Okay, this is the first duel. I think this guy just joined the server 10 seconds ago. Ready? Five, four, three, two. <laughs> He's panicking. I'm the worst pirate ever. I did this a few more times until the quest was complete. I probably made so many people quit this server, I need to leave. The rest of Alabasta's quest would take me a while. So after spending the remaining days building the Empire and completing Alabasta's quest, these seriously took multiple days to do. I was ready to take on the boss of Alabasta, but I waited. I had a sliver of hope that Rai would log on. I just really came into this video with the idea of forming a pirate crew. I had an idea, but first I challenged Crocodile, the boss of Alabasta. Brought the lightning fruit for this fight. Okay. Shoot. Let's get up here, get up here. Let's go. Lightning fruit. Oh shoot, I'm at half HP. I've done like nothing to him. Lightning fruit. He broke my shield. He's so low. Oh my god, this might actually be the win. I'm playing it so safe. I don't care. Okay, I have to end this now. Lightning fruit! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. This took so long. I'm finally done. Oh my god. I became the pirate king by myself. But here's where my plan came into play. You see, I've been hiding a tiny detail from you guys. This was only the beginning. Four more islands, tons of more devil fruits, and an entire journey awaiting me. My hope is that Rai sees this video and does it with me. 